friends, the day is about to get started. It is almost 11 a.m. A little late, but I had a call with a client who is going to start working with me hopefully in a couple weeks, and that went really well. And now we're kind of just getting ready for the day because why, Bub? Why are we bringing all of our food with us in this? Oh, uh, they don't know. <laughs> Bub, what's wrong? Uh, the AC is broken. The AC is broken. It's toast. And it's not that bad because we don't live in New Hampshire and it's not humid, but it's still really freaking hot. It's 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees in our apartment. We're packing all of our food for the day and we're gonna leave. I'm excited to show you guys. I'm a little nervous about my sugaring appointment. If you're from New England, you might not have ever even heard of sugaring, so I don't know if that's a thing there. I'd certainly never heard of it until one of my friends here told me about it because I'm not gonna tell you right now. Sugaring is when you go and eat all the candy everywhere. So I'm packing up my food. I'm gonna bring a high fat meal and a high carb meal. I'm gonna stick to the high fat in the morning, even if it's a little bit more effort to bring it. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. I do now, because I live there. I sure we're always driving to Laconia. Just kidding. You're not gonna see me at the coffee shop because I am now on my way to my appointment. I am going to get my arm hair removed. <laughs> Glamorous, right? Guys, you're not the only ones out there with insecurities. Your girl's got some insecurities because I have really hairy, like, gorilla arms. I'm like, okay with it, it's fine. I don't really invest in anything related to my beauty, I guess. I don't buy makeup, I don't really, uh, I don't really invest in clothes. What else do girls do? I don't get my eyebrows done. I don't get my eyelashes done. I don't really get my hair cut. If there's one thing that I'm gonna do related to beauty, it's probably gonna be removing this insecurity. So sugaring is a technique of hair removal that's organic, natural. I don't really care about that as much. I more care about that it like lasts longer and it's less painful. So those are my goals going in <laughs> to this and a friend suggested it to me. So trying it out and I'll give you the full review. I don't know how filming's gonna be. I don't know if I'll be able to film anything really, but we're gonna do our best and I will tell you everything after. Pray for me. I'm slightly nervous. I have no idea. I've never had waxing of any kind of done. So. We're gonna start because you've never done it. And your hair's kind of long, so you'll feel it going on just a little bit. But. This is Danielle, everybody. Hi! She's, she's already great. So what is this? So this is a ball of sugar, lemon, and water. We're gonna apply it against your hair growth, and as I apply it, it seeps into the hair follicle, wraps around the hair, and then it's gonna pull your hair out in the natural direction so it doesn't break the hair or tear the follicle. And then the sugar technique is also like an exfoliation for your dead skin cells. Oh. As I apply, and, and, and. Wow. Cool, huh? It doesn't even nice really hurt. Wow, it's so pretty. It's Isn't beautiful. It? I, the sugar, lemon, and water paste, and it's totally biodegradable and it dissolves with water. So when we're done, if you have any sticky residue, it just Right off. I'm a fan. I've never done anything for like my own beauty. Like I don't buy makeup. I don't really like yeah. get my eyebrows or anything. Hair. I don't even get my hair cut. Huh. So I was like, if there's one thing I'm gonna do, it's gonna be removing this like insecurity of mine. Totally. Because, like, totally. Somebody told me I can't have caffeine before. Is that a real thing? No. Oh. Totally no. I'm drinking decaf all day. <laughs> <laughs> this is also gonna be super cool because most of my subscribers are around like New England. Oh, and this is like cool. not a thing there. Yeah. It's really hard to find sugaring though. There'll be like random people who do it, but there's yeah. not like sugaring salons mm -hmm. usually in back east. But there's a lot of places in Canada oh, really? that do this. Is this your studio? This is. Okay. Yes. I thought I saw you on the website. So and look at how pretty it is. Yeah. So this is the smooth arm. And then that's the hairy arm. It took like <laughs> two minutes. See how it's not like really red or hot or irritated? Yeah. Is that what like, happens when you wax? Oh, it gets really red because the wax actually like adheres to the I feel like it's a lot more painful than that. That was totally painful. Yeah. Love it. That was 
freaking cool. And she's super sweet and really good at what she does. My arms look freaking fabulous, which you can't, I feel like you can't really see it, but I just glow. She told me a lot about it. So it's just a really great way. It lasts like five weeks before you should probably do it again. You have to exfoliate your skin because she explained the hair follicles and kind of how it works, but eventually over time the hair follicles will kind of close. The hair won't continue to try to grow out of them. She said a lot of cyclists do it. I would suggest it to any of my bodybuilding friends. So any of you guys on here that compete, you can get like a full body sugaring done. Your tan will stick better because you've uprooted everything instead of just shaving. But your tan will come out a lot better and it's not anything that's going to react with the tan. Highly suggest that if you're in LA, LA sugaring is what that place is called. I really, really liked it. So I'll probably keep doing it. Links for that will be below. What else? It was $46 for my arms, which isn't bad if you're thinking monthly, as opposed to like me getting a haircut every month or couple months. So totally fine by me. But if you guys have any questions about like how it felt, then let me know. It did not hurt. It wasn't as painful as ripping a band-aid off. It feels so smooth. <laughs> Guys, look who it is. Say hi. <laughs> so that was Brittany Carbone. She is the best. You guys will have seen her in last Friday's video. We're gonna start meeting every couple weeks as kind of like a mini mastermind type thing. And we're gonna talk about business, talk about life, got the sister going. It was a great meeting. Been home for a few hours. I've been really focused in work mode, talking to people about the fitness project, seeing who would be a good fit. I just went on a sweaty walk and talk to my brother for a bit and something super exciting came in the mail it is a new shirt so this is a sample i just got not sure how i feel about it so let's look in the mirror so this is the shirt i kind of feel like i'm not as big of a fan as i thought i would be that's the back I like the back. I like the length. So this was gonna be the first RegoFit apparel launch shirt. Wow, words. So this was gonna say, no you can, on the front and have my logo on the back. So like I said, I'll pop up the designs. The shirt looks a lot different on the girl, which is why I wanted to get a sample first, but I kind of feel like it's slightly unflattering. Give me your thoughts below. Tell me what you think. And that's probably gonna end this video. I know it doesn't seem like there is much to it, but I wanted to take you guys through my sugaring appointment. I absolutely loved it, like I said. And it's just been a really busy day. I've been really focused on the fitness projects, but yeah, let's hit the gym. Just kidding. Before we get into the workout, I wanna talk about self-love, just a little bit. I haven't really told YouTube about what I've been kind of mentally going through and it was a long time coming, kind of this whole series. I just started getting to this really negative mental space of I don't have a perfect body anymore, bikini body anymore, shredded body anymore. I started really getting afraid of posting my body, of posting like pictures in the mirror. I didn't realize how scared I was until I tried to figure out why I hadn't been feeling creative. Anything I tried to post on Instagram was crap. I couldn't think of good captions, couldn't figure out what photos to post with them. I was using that as the cover in my own head of what are these bad negative feelings in the pit of your stomach and why are they there? I actually sat down and had a real talk with myself about how I was afraid to post my body anywhere because I thought people were gonna call me fat, say that they, I let myself go. Oh, what happened to her? She used to have a great physique. I talked myself through that and I said, because I'm so afraid of that, I need to do that. And you've probably already seen that post, but I was super raw, no good lighting, no good angles, just point blank, this is my body right now. And it is fucking terrifying for me to post that. I was just overwhelmed with the responses of people giving so much love and saying they needed that. They needed to see that vulnerability. I'm not telling you to go post your body on social media, but ever since that moment of release for me, I have been able to love myself on a different level than I would say ever have. Because I'm about 135 pounds right now. The last time I was that weight was when I was first losing weight. Even though I was happy that I was losing weight, I was still like, I need to do more, I need to get more, I need to be thinner. Now that I'm 135, I looked in the mirror while I was training last night and I was like, I look fucking strong. I look really good. I look fit. I look like I can squat. And I and I loved that image of myself that I saw and I loved how I felt. 
I think it's really important that you, you do a check for yourself, whatever weight they are, whether I'm 150 pounds or 135, as long as you feel like you are strong and you feel good with what you're presenting to the world. I'm not like saying that if you're drastically overweight and unhealthy and you hate yourself, like you should learn to love yourself. I'm saying if you're putting in the work, you are vulnerable with your friends or your family and, and real with yourself. Everybody deserves to have that self-love for their body and themselves. I hope that wherever you are, check yourself and you say, why don't I love myself? Is it because you wish you were somewhere else because you're not working on yourself? Because if so, those are, those are actionable things that you can do. You can create workouts and you can create a diet that makes you feel good and that you know you're progressing with. And if there's no reason for why you don't love yourself, you need to start looking in the mirror and looking at the aspects of your physique that you do love. I love my shoulders, I love my legs. Maybe I don't love my stomach, so I don't stare at that. That's okay, love yourself. Now we'll get into the workout. Just kidding, again. Sorry guys, so I went to go send all this footage out and I realized that my gluten hamstring filming disappeared off the face of the earth. Should I record another workout? Should I just let this video be itself? And I kind of decided that that's what this is gonna be. So I feel like that's a lot of info for you guys to take in. Not necessarily the sugaring part, but that's really cool and it's like a day later and it just feels super cool and I love it, it makes me happy. And I think the self-love thing is a lot. You saw it in your email, so if you saw the email, you are prepared. There's not gonna be a workout in this video. However, you guys did get a little extra dose of training in last Friday's video with Brittany. I promise you that you have two more amazing workouts coming in the next couple weeks. I love you and I appreciate you. If you're new, make sure you like this video and subscribe. If you're old, make sure you just like this video, give it a thumbs up, let YouTube know that you enjoy my content. That helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. So make sure you actually tangibly like the video itself. From here, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you have a great rest of your day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I will see you on Friday.